Hello everyone! Today I'm going to paint some of my favourite flowers ever, poppies. We are using a very simple technique, but halfway through I decide to make some radical changes and really turn this into something unique. Let me show you how I did it. We've got 40 by 30 canvas today and the colour scheme will be quite unusual. I want to go just with warm colours, so we've got scarlet today, crimson, alizarin crimson. This is my own mix of scarlet crimson and a bit of white to create this pinky shade. And cadmium orange plus white and plus yellow, titanium white, mars black and a bit of gold. As you can see, sort of fiery colours. And I am going to make some poppies. Because I went for a walk and I saw the smallest poppy in the world. It was probably smaller than my little nail. And I it was so cute. And I thought, whoa, it's the poppy season. I haven't done poppies for a long time. And every single time if I revisit the topic, I want to do it in a completely different way. So this is going to be something really not in my style, I would say. So first of all, orange background. Now I know some of you will laugh, but I haven't done poppies for such a long time that I'm actually I use the swipe technique. watching my own tutorial how to make a poppy, which is, which is hilarious. This is the background color. You can see the consistency. See how nicely it runs off the stick. So we've got one part of paint to roughly one part of floral or even more and one part of water with PVA glue, which is my own pouring mix. And then I think I sprayed some more water, but I mean just, just like that to make sure that all the paints are the same consistency. And spray that. You see how frothy it is. I'll use a torch to pop the bubbles. What a crazy background. Let's torch it a bit. There's so many bubbles. You want to be quick, you don't want to cook your paint. All right, now composition. How many do I want? I want one here. I don't know, six, seven, and I want some of them overlapping, so let's just make one here that won't be overlapping. This one I want to be seen kind of a bit maybe sideways. Don't know how big I want it. Maybe not so big. Okay, so that's the red. I'm going to go for a little bit of crazy orange as well. Just put a little bit of crimson here. Sometimes we actually we don't need that many colors, you know. A little bit of gold. And I'm not sure about black here on this one, to be honest. The smallest amount. And as I said, I just wanted it sideways, so perhaps I should leave it alone. I'll just do one smaller here as well. But this time I'll start with the darker one and I'm going to do it differently. Lighter red on top and see the difference. So each I will try to do each one differently so you can kind of see which one you like the most. Now a little bit of gold in the middle. And drop off black. How do we want this one? Just partially, partially open. Oh, nice. Quite a lot of black. I'm turning because it's more comfortable. There's a lot of black here, which is fine because I want the black in the middle. And this one, as I said, is going to be partially open. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to give this one a little bit of this color, just for fun. And I am going to blow, trying not to actually touch too much black, if that's possible. It is possible. <laughs> it is possible. You can always fix the section we don't like. Like here, I decided I wanted a bit darker. 
because I want this puppy from seen from the side mainly. Now I'm happy and I can turn it back. Let's try one somewhere here, a big open one. Themselves. Look at that. I definitely want one here, but now I'm thinking do I want it behind or do I want it on top? I want it like this. It's going to be like that. I'm not going in a circular motion. And a very small amount of black because I, I don't want this black really to be seen much. So today it's actually more about how to use a straw blot to get the result you want. That's our tutorial today. Probably not enough red. I did want those two to be touching. So what will I do? I will blow over the big one. So now this one is overlapping on top of that one. And again, we could, we could perhaps add a little bit of black somewhere here. Uh, now I do want to, them to go off center as well on the side. I think that creates some more interest, doesn't it? I think we need to have something coming off the canvas this way now. Be probably a couple more baby poppies in a minute. I think to finish it off we need something here and one coming off this way. The last thing we want is some kind of buds, don't we? So I am making a little one. Perhaps, uh, where should I go? That's probably enough. With a little bit of darker value in the middle. Not even blowing on these. We want some stems. It's so nice that everything, you know, it's fixable at the moment. Now, my dear friends, I feel I feel like I'm stuck. I want to change stuff, but I'm not sure what. So how do we overcome an artist block? What I suggest, do something mundane, something you don't have to really think about. So what I'm going to do now, you'll be surprised. You will probably think I'm crazy, but just you wait. I've realized that my main problem is with the background. Even though I do want this crazy color, I want something else. But at the moment, I don't know what I want. So I thought, Painting the background individually around the flowers will be really time consuming. So let's go for something else. Sometimes I just get those quick ideas like, oh, how about trying this? I just want to cover the poppies as quickly as possible without too much hassle, without painfully outlining every single one, transferring them onto something. So see if I can do it quickly. If I can, that might save some of you some time. This is frisket paper. Bye-bye painting. Ah. Honestly, sometimes I think I am <clears throat> I'm a bit weird, yes. I could have left it. Hmm. It's almost satisfying. I am going to outline the flowers like this. And this is a good time because if you don't like certain sections, perfect time to get rid of them. This is going to be super quick actually. I'm sure you can see that. Once I peel it off, we'll see everything on white. Now we'll see if my crazy idea works. So I could peel off the whole thing. But it's going to be easier like this. Can you guess what I'm going to do? 
So that was super quick. That was actually a couple of minutes. Yes, I wish I had black, but forgive me, uh, I just can't find it. All right, so this is the sticky side. So I'm just going to stick it here. Look, it's perfect. It won't move. I'm so happy with myself. Oh, with this, I actually cheered myself up. Uh, at the moment, I'm not struggling with anything. I am just putting some podcast on and I'm cutting this super quickly. I'm hoping this is going to help someone not to give up a painting and not to just cover the whole thing with paint and start from scratch. This one is ready. I've cut it. That took me probably one minute. And now I made it slightly smaller. I wanted it slightly smaller. So I am just going to stick it where I want it. And all the rest will be history. See, I don't want that long here. There you go. Well, I'm sticking the last one. That was uh, 22 minutes. 22 minutes, I think it's a good time. So this will be the greatest fun for me. I'm still going to keep similar color scheme, but I'm going to introduce a couple of paints. Burnt Sienna. Well, we do have orange. Raw Sienna. Deep yellow. Or maybe yellow ochre. I don't want to get underneath my poppies, so I will be probably using a sponge. And then I'll try various things to do with the background to make it more intriguing and interesting. I don't worry about the stems whatsoever. I can always redo them. What I want to keep is my red flowers. Moist sponge. I have to be quick because I want to take off some of the paint. I am dabbing not to get underneath. Okay, let's see what happens if we spray it a bit. No. Little water. Uh, I was not planning touching it with my hand. Oh, let's just put some newspaper on it. I'm looking for some effects, but I'm not sure at the moment what I want. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Not too much water here and there, but that gives us some unexpected look, doesn't it? Together with newspaper. I am going to add more yellow, definitely more yellow. Very autumny. I'm also wondering whether we want any textures. Do we want any textures or not? I am really curious what happens if I put cling film on. What if instead of the leaves we are going to print something else? And then I came across something most of you loved with my other paintings. This. I've got just a leftover bit. What if I print some texture at the bottom? Shall we go for something darker? Perhaps burnt umber. I need, of course, newspaper or something to press on the other side so that my hands won't get completely <laughs> covered. I'll just start with this one. All right, newspaper. It's somewhere here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's lovely. The last thing I want, I think it's some splatter, but I'm not sure if my yellow is too thick. I'll just try. <gasps> not on the flower, not on the flower. I just thought it would look nice, you know. That's what we have at the moment. Oh my goodness. This is the most unusual color combo ever for me, for me, of course. Okay, so the most exciting part. We're going to peel the flowers off. Okay, which one shall we start with? Let's just start with this uh, baby here. Oh, so red, so red. This one doesn't need a pin. This is so satisfying. 
<gasps> yeah, <laughs> look at the colour. How pretty. I forgot it was so vibrant. Oh, how silly. I can just get excited about every tiny little, little thing. The art excites me, you know. Oh, pretty, pretty. It actually does come off in easily. And you see, because I actually added colour to some of the sections that I didn't like, I'm getting slightly altered shapes, which I am very happy about. Oh, I love the background with those colours now. You know when you make a decision and you're not sure whether it's going to work. What a, what a relief, if you like it. Before, I couldn't really see that they were so red. Now with this background, darker and lighter, we can actually see the flowers so well. Last one. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, time for some stems. And I'm also going to do some outlines in black at the edges to create even more contrast. Just like that. That will make them stand out more. So recreating the stems. Now I can, if I want to, I can make them slightly different. I think we can just add a couple of little drops of paint, just like that. I think that will look better than the gold leaf. Well, there we are. Let me know what you thought of this one in the comments. I have to say, at some point, I was really struggling trying to decide what to do with the background. I hope you've learned something from my process. If you would like to help support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon, where you can find extended versions of my tutorials, or my website, where you can find this original piece for sale. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.